The cynics said last week, let them have their meeting and we'll see how many turn up. Brothers and sisters, brothers and sisters of this new frontline alliance, look around and shake each other's hand because you have shown tonight by your presence here that our campaign is just unfair. room have been threatened. We have been threatened by the Taoiseach of this country who has said if we don't behave and apply ourselves to discussing reductions in our pay that they will legislate. We are threatened every day of the week in the jobs in which we do and we have never flinched. flinched from doing our duty and taking our responsibility seriously. And we will continue to do that, Taoiseach. And what's more, the men and women in this room will continue to provide a first-class service, but not at the miserable, measly ways that you think you can negotiate in those pay talks and compact. However, one thing I think we should know and expect it is that our campaign will have to be resolute and determined. There is no point, there is no point in people thinking that leaving this room tonight that we will have solved the problem by coming here. This is the start of our campaign, it is the beginning of our campaign, and the end of the campaign will be when the Taoiseach and everybody else realizes we are not going to give any more quotes. We have to remember that it is very difficult to accept the consequences of actions which we might have to take. But it is important that we say tonight that we cannot be afraid of the consequences of actions when our cause is just and fair. At the start of the campaign to abolish slavery, it was said, it is no use loosening the shackles, I want them removed entirely. <laughs> and to quote another villain, Richard Nixon said, when the toothpaste is out of the tube, you can't get it back. Well, we're out now, and we're not going back, and we're here for a long haul. <laughs> 